The melodies of the singing bowls and the vibrations of the gong echo through the halls of the Ohm Center on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, where I tried a sound bath for the first time. So let's start with the basics. What is a sound bath? A sound bath is where you are experiencing the being bathed by all the sounds that are created from different kinds of instruments. The goal is to help you enter into a deep state of relaxation. Sound baths are a gateway into deeper meditation. Suzanne Hill, founder of the Ohm Center and my guide for the sound bath, began meditating on her own at 17 after years of working as an acupuncturist and encouraging her patients to try meditation, she began teaching herself and opened this space in 2019. What difference are you seeing in, in the people who you help? They are so much more relaxed. They seem much, much lighter, like the burdens of the world are lifted. Even if nothing has shifted in the external world internally, mm -hmm. they've cleansed and so they feel better. Since this story is about trying a sound bath, what should the takeaway be? for people who are interested. Not to be intimidated by it. It doesn't have to be a spiritual or religious experience. You're just having a relaxation experience. And before long, it was my time to try and rest. I am not quite sure what to expect. I'm gonna try, I don't wanna fall asleep, which I can do pretty easily these days, but also I'm looking forward to feeling something that I haven't felt before. You know, I've meditated before with calm, but I've never done a sound bath, so I'm, my heart is open to receive. I'm gonna have you lie down. Once I entered the room, yeah, Suzanne handed me an eye back. mask and encouraged me to let go of the worries of the day. And just allow yourself to sink into the ground. Be aware of the ground supporting your body so there's no part of you that has to hold yourself up. Then she began playing, creating a symphony of sounds. Crystal bowls have a cooler sound, and the uh, alloy bowls have a warmer sound, and we like to mix them together. We also have a 40-inch symphonic gong, which is very grounding. When you play the gong, it's really about releasing any negativity. Singing bowls are more nurturing and nourishing. She transferred the bowls to my hands to feel the vibrations as she played. As the sound bath finished, I felt better, and that sense of calm reverberated through the rest of my day. That was really great. Yeah. That was great. It's like I was at a spa. Music and sound is very healing, and I think that's why people are gravitating to sound baths now. They don't want to intellectually figure out how to feel better. They just want to experience feeling better. Don't you want to try it now? Did you wow. fall asleep? No. She asked me, she said, just try not to fall asleep because then you kind of miss it. Mm -hmm. so, but it's the deepest I've ever relaxed, how ever. Long did, how, did, how long did and the I feeling did last? 20, I, I'm telling you, I called the producer of this story later that evening before I went to bed, and I said, I feel more energized than I have in a really long wow. time. Even later that day. Even later that day. Wow. So, oh. well, you can catch more stories like this in our show, Wellness Today. It's streaming at 11.30 and 5.30 this afternoon on Today All Day. Just go to today.com slash all day and it'll pop right up. You can also find it on Peacock or your smart TV. Were there any other benefits? <laughs> yes. Right. I felt energized. Great. That's fantastic. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.